Hi everybody, this is plans on uh, how to make your Wing Chun dummy. It's going to be a lamination process. The uh, dummy is uh, 9 inches in diameter. Here's the front view. Um, here I'll go, go through the measurements on these plans. Come down 14 inches from the center. Make two holes, two square holes at 2 inch by 2 inch. We're not going to be using a drill this time. Um, you'll see why later on. The second hole you come down from the top 26 and a half inch and this hole is going to be 2 inches by uh, 2 and a quarter and then you come down 42 inches from the top to make the hole for the leg and that hole is going to be 3 inch by 4 inch the whole thing is 60 inches long uh, we're going to move now to the back of the dummy the back of the dummy surprisingly the holes look exactly the same as the front because the top two holes crisscrosses the top two holes are going to be a little bit wider at 2 and 3 eighths by 2 because you want the back hole to be a little bit wider so that when you hit the arm there's a little bit more play and the two arms on the top crosses crisscrosses makes an X here are the plans once again and that's what it looks like now going to the side view and the top view just to let you know the top view that the two arms crisscrosses the leg, most dummies are like the one on the right the leg are cut slanted but we're going to make it easier, we're going to cut the leg hole straight through. It's just, it's an easier process to cut. <clears throat> so now we're going to move on to the lamination. Buy wood at your local hardware store, I guess. Uh, hardwood would be the best, although it's very expensive and hard to find. Uh, the lamination process is a three day schooling. Uh, two halves of the wood here, they're uh, uh, stacked together, which should make a four and a half inch by nine. So when you slap them together, it's going to make a 9x9. Nine nine. If you don't have enough clamps, put heavy objects on top. You can even put screws uh, down to uh, hold it down. Uh, if you're really on a budget, you can even use laminated uh, MDF wood because they're very cheap. Not the best wood, but the cheapest wood. Here, here goes. Uh, we're going to start with this hole first. And then the top hole here, 2x2. Uh, two two. You uh, start with one half of the dummy. Come down 14 inches, make a square hole here at 2 by 2 inch. Use a handsaw because you're going to be cutting this at an angle. You don't cut straight through it. Uh, cut as many, score as many times as you can. Here's the back view. And you don't cut through it because the arm hole goes in from the front and comes out on the other half. That's why they're cut at an angle and you don't cut through it. And then you chisel out the excess. And when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. Now you do the other one. You go to the back of the, uh, the dummy. You measure out the square hole. This one is a little bit bigger once again. It's 2 by 3 eighths by, uh, by 2. It's a little bit bigger so that when you hit it from the front, it, it, it pivots left and right a little bit more in the back. And this is what it should look like when you're done after chiseling. And then you go on to make the middle arm hole and the leg hole. Those two are really easy to do. Come down 26 and a half inch, uh, make a square at uh, 2 and 1 8, uh, 42 inches down for the leg, hole at 4 by 1 and a half. Then you just use the circular saw, cut as many scores as you can, chisel it out, and you're halfway there. The second piece you do, you do exactly the same as the first one, practically, practically identical. Same cuts, same angles, same everything. The small difference is what's considered to be the back of the dummy for the hole, for the top two holes. They are, the exiting holes are once again 2 by 2 eighths by 2. 2 and 3 eighths by 2 because you want the top two arms to have a little bit more play. So the back of the hole is a little, a little bit bigger than the front. The front is 2 by 2. The front of the hole is 2 by 2. So this uh, gets flipped over and now it's going to look like the trunk of the dummy. Before you glue it, just check the, uh, the measurements. Check the, the top view here, the two arms. Uh, stick a piece of wood in there and, and stick a piece of wood and the arm is 12 inches long. It should not be wider than the width of the dummy as you can see here in this diagram. The two arms should be exactly the same width as the dummy. And if that's the case, then the angle of the two arms are perfect. If you look through the holes, it looks kind of strange, but this is what it looks like. The two holes crisscrosses, 
and you can see the bottom hole from the top hole and top the bottom from the top is actually kind of connected and that's what it looks like it crisscrosses and uh, if the measurements and the angle is right then you can flip it over and then clamp it wait for three days and you're pretty much done the rest is pretty simple uh, top three arms you can actually maybe buy uh, uh, table legs that are pre-cut table legs, rough in pre-cut table legs and just shape them down into arms. The leg you would have to laminate again, laminate the shape of the leg that you want and uh, you're pretty much done and uh, have a good time and good luck to this project. Bye for now.